I like to see myself kind of like the milkman, but instead of coming over once a day and bringing milk, I'm coming over once a week and bringing physics problems. But you know how all those great uh, horror movies start where the, the milkman is dead inside the house? Well, that doesn't have anything to do with this. Uh, here I have a whole bunch of problems because we're getting in some really great physics with lots of lots of tricky bits. And um, we'll start with a bowling ball that is thrown up into the air. It's kind of a review problem. Do you remember how to do normal kinematics and, uh, and wondering how long it will be in the air? And uh, sorry, given that, but how fast did I throw it and how high did it get? Great. Next problem is about dwarves, and they are pushing a treasure chest, of course, but they disagree about which way it should go. And in the third problem, there is a water turtle, and you're looking at it, and uh, hopefully it's living out in nature, and well, your little brother is a punk, so that's something to think about. Um, oh yeah, problem four is about bananas, but I'm going to draw the problem for you. Let's see, there's one option under which the bananas, which of course look like that, are hanging from a single rope right here. And the other option is that the bananas, which still look just like a box, are hanging from a rope like this. Like, you stretch a rope out really tight and then you dangle the bananas from the middle of it. So I'll call this A and this B. And another option is you hang the bananas from ropes that look like that. Same bananas each time, we'll call that C. And a third option, let's say, let's say we do something a little bit crazy, like there's uh, the ceiling here again, and there's a rope that's looking like this, and another rope that's looking like that. And the bananas are hanging from that. So we're tying the ropes together, because otherwise the bananas would probably slide down into the middle. So we can call that picture D. Which of those is most likely to break the rope? Hmm, fun. Good luck. Uh, oh, shoot the bleed through. That's how it gets you. Meanwhile, I'm telling you how much I weigh. I actually didn't check at all. It's just sort of a ballpark thing. And um, I might hold my 26 kilogram daughter. And uh, I'm wondering whether the normal force on me would change if I jump also. First you calculate it. Then you think about whether it would change if I jump. Look at that, bleed through two even. Travis is out in the barn. He's pulling like, uh, oh my gosh, maybe a picture would help with this. Let's start out by saying that there's the pulley and the bale of hay is right her. <clears throat> and this angle, 30 degrees, is the angle of the pulling right there. And Travis is standing over here pulling that bale that direction. Well, he's pulling the rope, which is going over the pulley, which is pulling the bale. And so I'm wondering, given those numbers, if you can figure out how long it takes for the bale to get to the loft, which is obviously where it needs to go. Uh, watch out for fires, though, in lofts. The maximum acceleration of the right box. Which box? Well, here's a box. And I'm going to call this box uh, a mass of, um, um, let's call it a kilogram, right? And this other box, this other box has a mass of eight kilograms, and they're attached by a rope, and there's another rope here, and Lara Croft is actually off screen pulling this rope with 18 newtons. So the question is, what's the acceleration of this box right here? And uh, that's all I've got. Oh yeah, right, so you really wanna do these problems and only then, if you want to know what I did or how I thought about it, you or <laughs> my answer, then you can uh, click on those links that are available in the description. Goodbye.